The series begins with Duna having a dream. In the dream, she imagines performing at a concert, but then something unusual happens. As the crowd cheers, she falls into a body of water and just goes with the flow. It's almost like she's saying goodbye to everything. Startled, she wakes up from this dream. Somewhere else, two people named Cook Su Jin and Lee Won Jun are heading to Seoul. Su Jin really likes a girl group called Dream Sweet, and his car is full of their stuff. Won Jun asks him to take care of his mother now that he's leaving. We find out that Won Jun is going to college and moving to Seoul to be closer to his school. He's worried about his mom and sister, who were recently in the hospital. Su Jin promises to help him. When Won Jun arrives at his shared apartment, he meets Duna. But she doesn't even say hello. He tries to talk to her, but she ignores him. He also meets Jung Hoon, who explains the house rules, and Yoon Tak, who warmly welcomes him. Won Jun starts cleaning his room, and this annoys Duna even more because she can hear him through the floors. Later, he makes pamphlets to advertise himself as a tutor and gets distracted looking at Duna through his window. As the day goes on, Won Jun puts up the pamphlets around the area and comes back home. He sees Duna on the rooftop talking on the phone. She looks at him and sends a text to someone, saying there's a stalker in their building. But the other person ignores her messages. Meanwhile, Won Jun keeps cleaning his place and gets a call from Su Jin. Su Jin tells him that he found him his first tutoring job, which is good news because Won Jun needs the money for rent and living expenses. Su Jin asks about the apartment, but he gets distracted when a Dream Sweet song starts playing. He reminds Won Jun to return his Dream Sweet merch hoodie. That's when Won Jun realizes he's been wearing the hoodie all day. The next day, as Won Jun is leaving, he starts singing one of Dream Sweet's songs. Duna hears him and goes to talk to him. She accuses him of being a stalker, and he tries to explain that he's not a fan and only recognized her after she brought it up. He walks away, and Duna gets a call from her mom, which she ignores while continuing to smoke. Won Jun meets with a potential client, and their meeting goes well. On his way back home, he runs into a girl from his past, Jinju. They go out for drinks and catch up. Jinju also got into the same university and is excited to see a familiar face. After drinks, he sees her off and loans her his scarf because it starts snowing. When he gets back home, he finds Duna sitting outside in the snow, crying. He tries to ignore her, but she notices and asks him to never sing her song again. As she walks away, she faints and he calls an ambulance. Duna wakes up in the hospital and Won Jun pretends to be her younger sibling. The doctor tells him that Duna's body temperature is too low and she needs socks and warm food to recover. Won Jun quickly buys her some socks and helps her put them on. The next morning, Su Jin calls Won Jun. It turns out the client he met is no longer interested in his tutoring services. She thought he smoked because she smelled cigarettes on him, but the scent was from when he talked with Duna earlier that day. Won Jun is upset that he lost a client because of her. He gets out of bed to pick up a package at his door and is surprised to find Duna sitting on it. She invites him to have breakfast with her, but he declines. Over the next few days, Duna keeps following Won Jun and inviting him to meals, but each time, he turns her down. Won Jun tries to change his daily routine to avoid Duna, but he keeps bumping into her, like when he's hanging up his clothes to dry. He asks her if she's developed feelings for him, and she laughs it off. She explains that she's only looking for friendship. He finishes hanging his clothes, and she focuses on making a wish as the sun rises. For a brief moment, he finds himself captivated by her. All these interactions with Duna start to overwhelm him, and he wishes he could move to a different building to get away from it all. At school, he meets Jin Ju, who returns his scarf. It seems like Won Jun still has feelings for her. Later, he puts up more pamphlets looking for tutoring clients. Unfortunately, the school guard asks him to take them down because they lack the necessary approval. On his way home, he receives a call from Duna, who pretends to be a potential client. Won Jun tries to keep his anger in check, but she encourages him to express his frustration. He vents his feelings, explaining that he needs a job to cover his rent and living expenses. He's not as well off as her and can't afford to be idle. Even though her feelings are hurt, Duna pretends otherwise but acknowledges Won Jun's struggles. The following day, Duna doesn't wait for him anymore as he goes about his day. Won Jun starts feeling guilty about what he said to her. He visits her place and offers to take her out for a meal anytime. However, she ignores him. A few days later, she surprises him at his school during an ongoing lesson and reminds him of his promise. He asks her to wait until the lesson is over. Later, they go for ice cream and make up. She warns him not to fall for her and they share playful banter. 
She tells him that she'll call him more often and asks him not to get angry. He agrees to let her call in case of emergency. Duan reflects on how grateful she is to have met Won Jun. Even though they come from different backgrounds, she believes he's a significant part of her life's journey. In a flashback, we see Duan quitting her job. She was in the middle of a concert performance when things got too overwhelming, and she fainted. A man rushed over to help as the crowd looked puzzled, wondering what went wrong. For Duna, it felt like she was drowning in water as the scene unfolded. Now in the present, Duna is living at the co-ed house with three male roommates, and one of them is Won Jun. Speaking of Won Jun, he's trying to learn more about his roommates. He tells us what he's discovered about Yun Tak, who seems to have trouble with romantic relationships. On the other hand, Joan Hoon has strict dating principles and is mostly concerned with staying healthy and fit. Lastly, there's Duna, who remains a mystery to Won Jun. The scene shifts to Duna getting ready to leave the house. She heads to a nearby convenience store. Won Jun is also on his way to his new job as a waiter and notices her, but he decides not to call out to her. She goes into the store and feels anxious about someone recognizing her. Thankfully, it turns out the man was only taking a screenshot on his phone to show his boss. When Duna finishes her shopping and leaves the store, she spots Won Jun. But before she can call out to him, a bus arrives and he leaves. At his new job, Won Jun is surprised to find Jin Ju working there too. They greet each other and start working together. Jin Ju seems happy about this unexpected reunion, and they get along well, which makes work easier. During his break, Duna calls Won Jun, but he misses the call and enjoys coffee with Jin Ju instead. In a flashback, we learn that Jin Ju and Won Jun first met in high school. They used to compete for the top spot in their class. Won Jun had a crush on her and Su Jin told him that Jinju came from a wealthy family. One day, Jinju asked for Won Jun's help with a math problem, and that's how they got close. Back in the present, Won Jun sees Jinju off and heads back home after work. On his way, he realizes they mixed up their aprons. On the other hand, Duna stays at home, watching TV and ignoring her mom's calls. She tries calling someone named P, but he ignores her call. In a flashback, we see her receiving a phone from a man, presumably P, and getting scolded for not keeping a low profile. The man asks her to stay out of trouble. We come back to the present and Duna leads her house for some fresh air. She sees Won Jun feeding a cat and tells him that she dislikes it the most when someone ignores her calls. Won Jun tries to explain that he was working, but Duna says she meant someone else. He asks her why she called, and she replies that she just wanted to hear his voice. Won Jun is flustered but doesn't say anything. The next day, Won Jun receives a message inviting all civil engineering students to the new semester welcoming party. He thinks about not going but changes his mind when he finds out that missing the party will result in a fine. So Won Jun heads to the party while Duna stays home, reminiscing about her days as an idol. It's clear that those were tough times for her. Out of boredom she calls Won Jun but some rude guys interrupt their phone call. They're curious to speak to her and grab Won Jun's phone. When Won Jun tries to stop them, they threaten to harm him. Duna, who was nearby buying drinks, arrives just in time to rescue him. She's so furious at the men who threaten Won Jun that she loses control and is about to hit one of them with the wine bottle she's holding. Thankfully, Won Jun picks up a ball and stops her. In the process, he gets a minor cut on his arm. He gets the cut treated and advises Duna to manage her anger better. While they're having a conversation on the street, Won Jun spots Jin Ju with a group of friends who were also at the party. Jin Ju excuses herself and comes over to say hi. She's surprised to see Won Jun with Duna, a famous idol. She starts talking about being a fan and asks if she can join them. Duna initially says no, but they end up going to their house for drinks. Duna and Jin Ju get along and have a good time with their drinks. They even joke about the possibility of Won Jun having a crush on Jin Ju. To change the topic, Won Jun brings up the fact that Jinju missed the last bus and expresses concern about how she'll get home. Duna allows Jinju to sleep over, and she ends up falling asleep in the middle of their conversation because of the drinks. Late at night, Jinju's dad calls and Duna answers the phone. She explains that the welcoming party took longer than expected and reassures Jinju's dad that she's safe and at home with her parents. Won Jun is surprised by Duna's acting skills and jokingly suggests she should have been an actress. This joke ruins the mood, and Duna leaves to smoke. Won Jun follows her, and they discuss his crush on Jinju. 
Duna confesses that she feels jealous of Won Jun's friendship with Jin Ju because she's never really had friends in her life. As she stands up to leave, she nearly stumbles, but Won Jun helps her. This brings them close to each other, and Duna moves in as if she's going to kiss him. However, she stops at the last moment and walks away. The next morning, Won Jun can't stop thinking about the almost kiss with Duna. He tries to push those thoughts aside and goes to school. While there, he returns Jin Ju's apron, and she admits she saw him almost kissing Duna on the rooftop. Unfortunately, Won Jun doesn't have time to explain as he spots someone named Si Han and leaves. Later that day, when Won Jun returns home, he sees Duna taking out her garbage and offers to help. He explains the misunderstanding with Jin Ju and why he didn't tell her the truth. Duna asks why he didn't open up to Jin Ju. Won Jun admits he will tell her the truth but is afraid to hope for more. Jin Ju has hurt him before because he assumed she had feelings for him, and he doesn't want to make that mistake again. He says he's different from Duna and cares about what people think of him. Duna gets angry at his comment and goes to her room, lost in her thoughts about her past. Meanwhile, Won Jun wonders what's wrong with Duna and calls Su Jin to ask if Duna might have mental health issues or problems with anger management. Su Jin says he doesn't know for sure but mentions that Duna always does things her own way. Later, Duna sets out food for the cat and notices that Won Jun correctly handled her trash. She's touched by his gesture and becomes even more moved when Won Jun invites her to join him and the other guys for dinner. She acts a bit hesitant but eventually joins them. As expected, Joan Hoon isn't very welcoming, but Yoon Taek is friendly. After dinner, Won Jun and Duna go for a walk. He asks her why she quit music, and she explains that it felt like she couldn't sing anymore. Won Jun takes her to play a game and watches her play with a warm heart, delighted by her excitement. In a flashback, we see what happened the night Duna collapsed on stage. She told her manager that her anxiety was overwhelming, but he didn't pay attention. Her group members accused her of seeking attention with their glances. When she got on stage and saw people taking photos, the anxiety became too much and she collapsed. Later, Won Jun advises Duma to take care of herself and eat better. She confesses that it's her birthday and he pretends not to know, even though he made her seaweed soup. Duna questions if he has feelings for her and he says she's not his type. She offers to give him lessons on how to win Jinju over. They start practicing, but Duna is briefly shaken because it's evident that Won Jun doesn't need any lessons, he's smooth. He goes home and calls Jin Ju to clarify that there's nothing between him and Duna. Duna returns to her room and is surprised to find a present and a message on her table. She rushes out, trying to find the person responsible, and ends up walking barefoot in the streets, looking confused. Subscribe so that I can continue this story and make the next part. Thanks for watching.